to get into the story time, y'all, because I'm officially done going to really any type of hairstylist now. I'm, I'm officially done with it. There's only probably one to two, maybe three people I'll go to to get my hair done. That's it. I'm done. I'm done trying. I, I, I'm done, you know, like for real. So y'all, I'm not going to put the business's name out there. All I'm going to say is that it was a female that did my hair and leave it at that. So long story short, y'all, I booked my appointment. This was the first time I booked it. I booked it and I literally looked at the time of it wrong. So when I was on the way to the bank to get the rest of the money out to pay her in cash, I paid the deposit, which was like, I'll say $20 roughly because it was like 19 something, some change, but roughly just rounded up 20 bucks, which is fine. I don't mind that. Um, so I did that and long story short, I was headed to the bank and sh and I kept hearing my phone go off and I'm like, what is going on? So finally, when I was able to get to a complete stop and whatnot, parked my car for a hot second, I was looking through my thing and it just, she was like, are you showing up for your appointment? And I'm like, is it now? I thought it was like 11. So I'm sitting there thinking like, let me, let me go back and look in case she confused or I'm confused or one of us confused. One of us is confused. So I looked and I was at the bank during my appointment time. I looked at the the actual day, like the month and the, the actual day. I didn't bother to look at the time. I don't know why, why I didn't catch my brain, but it was what it was. I lost out on the deposit money because once you give your deposit, that's it. You don't get a refund on it at all, which is understandable. So I wasn't even mad about that. That was my own fault. So I was like, okay, whatever. Not a big deal. So I asked her, I said, can I still schedule for sometime later on today? Because I still would like to get my hair done. And she's like, yeah, go ahead and schedule for noon. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm going ahead and schedule for noon. Mind you, it's like two to three hours out till like my next appointment so i scheduled it went on went on to her thing scheduled it and everything cool so then an hour passes and i get a thing like a message and it says um i can't take can't take you in on you know noon today and i'm like why not like do i have a schedule at another time do i have what do i have to do like i get my hair done like and then on top of that y'all i had an event like i had like a like a yeah, I'd say it was an event, like a, a friend's birthday to go to. And I wanted to look cute for the pictures and stuff. And I had my outfit planned out. I had it, had it all planned out. Didn't even get to do that. So I was like, all right, whatever. So then she, tell, then she tells me she has an event. And I'm sitting here thinking like, you could have told me that before I booked or, you know, yeah, before I booked on that day at that time that you had an event and that was going to take such amount of time to get it done and that the event started at this point in time. Why didn't you say that? So that kind of takes me off as well. So luckily in with her, like that second time I booked the appointment, I had paid a deposit. I didn't know that she had an event. She forgot to tell me she had an event. So she sent me my deposit back because it was on her. So I was like, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I thought that was very professional. So I was like, cool. I don't have no issue with it. And so she was like, just book at a later date and then I'll go from there with you. I do apologize. She apologized and whatnot. So I was like, cool, whatever. So then I wait like maybe two or three weeks, you know, because I was just debating like if I really wanted to get my hair done. You guys, I had to do my hair myself, which wasn't hard, but it wasn't a style that I had planned. I had to change up my whole outfit. I was just not happy. I was not okay with it. It was just, it was upsetting to me. But I had to get through. I had to work through it. it. It is what it is. Sometimes you just have to improvise and call it a day. I still look good though. I look real good. So I, I, I rolled what I what I had on. Long story short, I waited like two or three weeks. Then finally, I was like, all right, I'm ready to walk, get my hair washed by somebody else. Ready to get it trimmed and done, like into a cute little up braided up hairstyle. That's all I wanted. That's all I was looking for. And I'll even insert the picture of what I was actually looking for versus what she actually did. So there's a difference, just FYI all. So um, I this is what I wanted versus what I got. Nothing looked, it, it looked nothing like what I asked for. So she pretty much did not even pay attention. She didn't care. 
She didn't even ask me, hey, here's a picture. And no offense, I would have said something had she been like, hey, do you have a picture of it? Or is this the picture of it? Or something. And I should have said something when I felt her not doing my hair right. But there was a lot more ish that was that was going on behind after that. And I just kind of just didn't care anymore after the fact. So then I booked it, paid the deposit fee or whatever. And then finally that day came. I was really excited. It was my self-care day for me to pamper myself. I had put a little bit of money aside to pamper myself. So I was excited. My first stop was to get my hair done. So I wanted to go get my hair done. Um, I hadn't officially figured out what I wanted to do to my nails yet because of the type of job that I do. So I was like, all right, we'll figure this out after we get our hair done, depending on the time and whatnot, and go from there. So I went, I, I ended up showing up about five, 10 minutes early to the hair appointment and get in there and I'm sitting there, I'm waiting patiently, you know, not a big deal. Um, and she greets me and whatnot, asked me to sit down that she'll be starting with my hair very soon. So I was like, okay, cool. And so I'm sitting in my, in my mind, I was like, okay, I pretty much have a two to four hour block for this because my hair's my head's small so it don't take long to do nothing on my hair really and I'm not tender headed so it shouldn't take that long you would think right right nah mm -mm. Mm -mm. so then it gets to the part point where like she comes out from the back of her shop and she's like did you buy your hair no I didn't buy my hair I didn't think I had to buy my hair so let me put it to y'all this way. If you are a stylist and you decide to do braided hairstyles, no offense to you, but I expect you to have the hair that you want to work with. Do not depend on the customer to purchase the hair that you want to work with. You have to provide that hair and then charge an extra five or 10 or 15, 20 bucks, however you feel that you need to charge. Charge what you want to charge for hair. But I shouldn't have to personally bring the hair to you. Say for instance, I'm allergic to the hair that you decide to put in all your customers' hair. Then I, then you're gonna have to come up with a hair that's appropriate for me. So really think about that. I didn't like that aspect of it. And I'm that type of customer where I expect you to have the hair. And if you don't have the hair to me, it's like, now it's different if I'm coming to you as a first time customer and I was a first time customer. So I was like, all right, whatever, not a big deal. But if I'm a regular customer and I come to you on a regular consistent basis or I come to you when I need my hair trimmed or washed or what have you, or I come to you on a special occasion that, for all the special occasions, I expect you to have the hair. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. I'm that, that customer. Yes. Purely that customer. I got no shame in my game. I don't care. Okay. So long story short, she's like, do you have any hair? And I'm like, I I didn't know I was supposed to bring hair. I was like, but I can go run out and go and get some and then come right back. And she's like, yeah, you're going to have to do that. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever, not a big deal. So I was like, what type of hair would you like me to get? She tells me what type of hair to get. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I dip out, I dip out. I head up the street to the nearest hair store that I found on my, like, on my maps that would be the most convenient. So I get in there and there, as I'm walking in, y'all, there's this little boy and his mom was in one of the aisles and she knew he was in there and she was keeping an eye on him, but he was so cute. He's like playing in the aisle. So I'm walking in, I'm picking up the hair and stuff like that. I'm looking at the hair, trying to figure out which one I should get, trying to find the right hair, I guess to say. The little boy, he runs up and he's like, hi. And I'm like, hi, you're so sweet and adorable. And he's like, how are you today? And I'm like, I'm good. How are you? He's like, I'm good. He's like, I get to go get ice cream after this. I was like, ooh, ice cream? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not even mad. So then he, like, runs off back to his mom. And I'm still in the aisle. So I start to pick up the hair that I needed for my hair appointment. So the little boy comes back and he's like, you want this? I have a surprise for you. He hands me my surprise. And I'm like, okay. Thank you for my surprise. It was just like this piece of a ponytail holder pretty much that you were putting a little girl's hair pretty much one of those and i'm like oh thank you i appreciate my surprise and then as he's starting to walk away he turns around and he's like well i don't know when i get to see you again but have a great day i was like thank you so i put my surprise in my pocket and i kept it pushing and as i was walking towards the cash register 
I pretty much told his mom, I was like, you have a very sweet and inviting child. I was like, I hope he doesn't change. I was like, he's so sweet and very, so much of a people person, beautiful personality. He was a very sweet little boy. Like, I did not mind him at all. Like, very sweet. That just made my day. That part made my day. Just to let y'all know, that's how sweet he was. And his mother was, she was sweet as well. I okay back to the story so i get up to the register and i purchase the hair and whatnot so i leave i drive get back to the hair salon the hair shop that i was gonna get my hair done and i hand her the hair she looks in and she's like this isn't the hair and i'm like are you kidding me i didn't pick the right hair up this is what i mean when i say if you're gonna ask me to buy you something or if i'm out you're like hey can you pick this up send me a picture because if you don't send me a picture and you just send me a description don't be expecting me to bring you back the right thing. And I and I literally asked her, I said, can I see a picture? Can you send me a picture through the messaging? And she's like, oh yeah, I'll send it to you. Never sent it to me. So I never got it. So I was like, whatever. I'm just going to pick up what I normally use and call it what it is. And that's what I did. And she, I guess, doesn't work with that type of hair. But in my opinion, you should have had the, your own hair that you like to work with. But it's whatever. But anyways, okay. She's like, but it's okay. We're going to work with the hair. So I'm like, yeah, because you ain't another choice. And I'm tired of running in and out. At this point, if I run back out, I ain't coming back. And I'm just going to say, bust it. Like, I'm just going to go home and do my own hair because I just don't have time at all. So then, like, she gets the area set up. So we go back to the wash bowl. And she's washing my hair and everything and all that. Good to get the gumdrop stuff. And we get to the whole, through the whole, like, hair washing process and all that. So then I'm sitting in the chair where she's going to just go ahead and braid my hair up, make me look like a person to get a human. Because for me, y'all, I, I don't know about some of y'all females, but for me personally, if my nails ain't at least painted, I don't have my toes painted. If I don't have my toes painted, if my hair ain't at least looking like something, if I got acting, I don't feel like a human. I feel like an alien that just came and this is what you get. Like, I don't like that. So, I have to have at least some type of hairstyle. At least my nails done. At least I got it's got to be looking cute and feeling fresh, okay? That's just me as a female. I'm high maintenance. I can't help it. Okay? Okay. But anyways, so, she starts to go ahead and blow dry my hair out. She puts, like, the heat protectant spray on it, which, thank you, thank you, Lord, um, I, she was specialized in natural hair, so I think she understood. So thank you, Lord. That's the reason why I went to her because she specialized in natural hair. And I was trying to feel out for like a different stylist, but just for like natural, natural hair, like she used like certain like fruits and stuff and aloe vera. And I just, and I just loved it. I love that. Like, it's just my thing. And I was like, well, I just want to try. I just want to see what happens. And she did it and I loved it. And I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. But anyways. Um, so she, after she blow dries my hair, um, she starts to part it and everything is to braiding it. Now, at no point in time in the beginning, y'all, did she have gloves on? She didn't have any gloves on. So I don't know what happened. I don't even know when she put gloves on. I just pissed that she had them on. Because in my opinion, when you put gloves on, gloves are for other things that are not a client's hair. Because in my opinion, the gloves not are not going to be able to grip how your hand's going to be able to grip. But that's just my, that's just me. That's just how I feel that, how that would go, you know. But anyways, she's sitting there, she's braiding my hair and everything. And so, she's braiding my hair. I'm starting to notice, like, the, the braids are not going right. The parting's not going right. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. Maybe there's an end game to this that I don't know about and I and I should probably just wait and see where this goes and call it what it is. Um, then she like there was another lady that walked into the shop mid me getting my hair done and um they start talking or whatever and she still continue to work, which I don't mind. I don't mind the styles talking and working, that's fine. Cool, do you boo boo, that's fine. I was sitting there for the first four hours getting half of my hair done and y'all I have very thick hair in the front and very thin hair in the back and I told her this I also told her that my hair wasn't necessarily detangled and the only reason why I had not been detangled is because I worked 12 hour shifts at my job so when I got home that night before 
I just ate, took a shower, and went to bed. I didn't think about my hair. I just, I had it in two corn rolls to the back. I didn't really think about it. It it even really seek my mind to want to do it and whatnot. So that's just what happened. And normally, y'all, when I go to like a stylist or anything, my hair is normally like washed, detangled and everything. Like all you have to do is put the style in it and call it a day. Like that is me. Like I show up to the hairstyles like that because me personally, not everybody's allowed to put their hands in my hair. I just don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So no, don't think you can do it. It's just not for me. Okay. Okay. But anyways, so her one friend comes in and they're talking and everything. And I'm just trying to relax, just trying to enjoy the little pampering that I had set out for myself and just the money I put aside and just what I was going to eat when I got out of there and just all the cute little things, okay? The small things for me, just saying. And so, um, mid, like, braid, like, mid, she got, like, partial through my hair. Then she had another customer walk in. I guess I was like intertwining with another like customer's like appointment time so she was like i'm gonna stop with your hair i'm gonna start with hers because she's just getting a wash and a blowout and like a um press so i was like okay whatever it's fine y'all i had been sitting on my ass for at least four hours i was able to get up out the chair that i was in but on top of that y'all i was hungry i had not planned on being there for over four hours I was starting to get a migraine on top of that, y'all, and it was starting to, ugh, she was starting to irritate me, because it don't take this long to do my hair, and no offense, I'm not saying this to be mean or in any way malicious, but her braiding was not up to par to my standards, to what I've gone to, to where I've been, to people to braid my hair. Her braiding was just not where it should be, from, and to me, in my opinion. I'm picky. But her braiding was just not where I wanted to be. And then on top of that, like, she didn't trim my end, ends at all. Like, I had booked for her to trim my ends as well after she washed it. it never happened. So, I was rolling around on dusty ends. So, I'm just going to keep rolling around on dusty ends. I get to her to clip my ends in a professional manner. So, yeah, that's what that is. So, okay? That's why. So, it... Like, I was sitting there, I was texting my boyfriend, I was like, I'm so hungry right now. And this chick has is working on another client while I'm partially not even done with my hair. And I'm over it, I'm hungry. Mind you, my boyfriend was helping some a friend move at the time. And he was in Kentucky, so there was nothing he could do for me. I'm in Ohio, he's in Kentucky. He couldn't do nothing, he was in another state, he couldn't do anything, so I was just stuck. And then I texted my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I'm just so hungry. And she felt for me, but she couldn't do anything. She was a distance away, too. And I was just in a whole other city, and she was in a whole other city, so there was really nothing she could do. So I was like, crud, what do I do? What do I do? Just got to sit here and feel my stomach touch my ribs, you know what I'm saying? And pray to God that I got enough fat in my stomach that's going to feed me long enough before I have to pass out in this chair and cause a lawsuit or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, she pretty much, the, the other customer that walks in, pretty much intertwining with, like, her appointment. She walks out before me with her hair completely done. My hair is not even finished, y'all, mind you. And then on top of that, what? I, and honestly, it's not even most stylists. It's just some stylists. I noticed through this, and she in particular did this. When you're braiding, y'all don't braid all the way down. Some sides braid it all the way down to the end just to knock that braid out. And I have you sit in the chair for 30 to 40 minutes extra just to save some time. She didn't do that. She braided it to a certain point and left it. And I'm like, okay, all right. So now I have to stay here for extra 30 to 40 minutes because you're a slow braider. No offense. You're a slow braider. And I was over it. I was done. So then, as my migraine starts to kick in more, y'all, this is the part that killed. The other customer had walked out. This is like 20 minutes later. And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm okay. And I was happy she checked up on me, but that ain't helping me now right now. I need you to get your damn job done, finish my hair so I can leave and go eat and act like a reasonable person out here in these American streets, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, 
like and then she was like are you hungry and i was like yes but i have my boyfriend on the way to bring me something my boyfriend was technically on the way to bring me something because i had been texting him as she was doing my hair because i needed something to eat like when i get migraines y'all it's like migraines 2.0 like a co-worker of mine says at work it's migraine 2.0 I don't want nothing to do with you when it hits my brain 2.0. Get out my face. Don't talk to me. Don't say nothing to me. Don't even make no noises. Because if you do, I'm going to strike you on when I'm done with this migraine. That's how I, that's how my migraines really go. Like, I just don't want to be bothered. And so, she asked me if I wanted something to eat. And I was just like, no, my boyfriend's bringing me something. And honestly, you didn't really care when I told you two to three hours late. Like, you know, past the four hour range. When I told you I was hungry, you didn't care then, so you're not gonna care now. So don't even try to you care. And honestly, I got to a point where I was about to get up and walk out with my hair not even fully finished because I just didn't care. I really just did not care. I was tired, I was hungry, and I was getting hangry. And the mean side of me was gonna come out and she wasn't gonna like it because I just was, I had enough. So then finally, there was a bunch of other stuff going on. I'm not going to put that person's personal business all out there because it's just, that's cruel to me. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to be the bigger person and just not do it. Okay. okay. But just to let y'all know, she had a lot of stuff going on. And it was some interesting, like, salon talk. Like, I was like, dang, she got everything going on. Like, that's how bad it was. But, so, it got to the point where she finished up braiding my hair. And oh, I didn't. I left out a part, y'all. Excuse me. Before that, pause. Okay, pause. We're gonna jump to the next. We're gonna jump beforehand because I forgot one more thing that kind of took the toll on me, and I was ready to dip. You know what I'm saying? Um, she was sitting there braiding my hair and whatnot, and she yells out somebody's name across the street. She's in the salon. The doors are shut. The windows are shut. Nobody can hear you. Unless you're probably banging on the window trying to get somebody's attention, waving to them, and they happen to look up, they can see you. Nobody could see her. Kid you not. Nobody saw her. I don't even think he, this person paid attention from across the street, from across, from across the way. Across the way. She was like, I, I, she yelled out the name, and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Migraine. <laughs> She wasn't even done braiding my all of the hair. Then you have the nerve to scream in my ear. And then she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, girl. No, you ain't. You ain't sorry. You ain't sorry. And that's cool. I don't even expect you to be sorry. I don't care. You're unprofessional at this point. I'm done. I don't know part. I, I, I'm ready to go. I don't even want you to finish my hair. That's what I was thinking. And I couldn't really speak because I had a migraine. I was hangry and I was tired. And it hit probably five o'clock by this time. I was tired. I was tired. So it got like, she was like, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up your hair and all this other stuff. And then I'm gonna dip it. And I was like, you know what? Don't even worry about dipping. I was like, just put it in the bun so I can go home because I'm hungry and I can't sit here no longer. I can't do it. I really couldn't do it. Like, it was too much. Like, and y'all, I don't have no, no, I don't have no meat on the back of my booty, okay? So, my, I'm sitting on a bunch of bone the whole time. And that's when we do get specific hair done, hairstyles, you know, when I'm ready to sit on my butt and be in pain, okay? I know, I just lunged real quick, I know. But that, it's just too much. It's too much, okay? I just can't do it. So, it just got to that point where I was just done. When she finished braiding it, she wrapped it up. I paid her what I owed her, and I left. I didn't think twice. I didn't care to say bye. I didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't care. So, as I'm walking out, I'm like, once the door closed, I called my boyfriend. And I was like, babe. He's like, and I'm sitting there crying because I'm hungry. I have a migraine. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to drive myself home at this rate. Because that's just, that's where my body was. Mentally, that's where I was. Body-wise, that's where I was on the internal and on the inside. I just, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it. So I was going to sit in my car for a little bit and possibly wait till my boyfriend pulled up with some food. Technically, that's what I was supposed to do, but I didn't. And that's where my bad habit kicks in. So me, sometimes you guys, when I get a migraine or my body just feels weak, I sit in my car for a good 15 to 20 minutes and I find a snack. Like, I'm a 
most of the time leave snacks in my car, like goldfish and stuff like that. So I started eating my snack and I was eating my snack and I had a water in there. So I started drinking my water and it was a cold water, you know, cause it was, you know, I had it with me the whole time, but it was cold water. So I just drank it and I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm like, all right, so I'm a little bit better. I'm just going to cruise on home 20 minutes away. No big deal. You know, so I made it home. I pulled off and I made it home. I texted my boyfriend and I made it home. He was like, all right. I'm on my way home, about to bring some food, I got you. So, that was that. Get home, y'all. The next day, I go to take my hair down because I'm like, all right, I got to grease my scalp because it's itching and I'm about to just go crazy because that's just how my hair is when it's in protective styles. I don't know why, and I think it's because I haven't had my roots gripped in so long that my hair just don't know how to act, okay, especially my scalp. So, as I'm, like, taking the bun down, in the middle of my hair, I noticed that she did three little small plaques. Don't know why. Don't know why. But she did. And then, I guess she thought she was trying to braid it in with the bigger braid that was going up into my ponytail. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it was not cute. And it was a very tacky, hot mess. I left that hairstyle in for a week and took it down because that's how bad it was. Like, my hair, my natural hair was starting to stick out, and I was over it. So, then, you guys, I threw these in my hair, some box sprays, you know, with a little bit of brown color, because, you know, I just wanted to be cute and stuff. And, no, I did not wash my hair, because she washed my hair. So, I was like, you know, I still got the clean scalp with just a little bit of grease and oil in it. We just going to throw some box sprays in it, so that's what I did, and this is it, yeah. So, I threw some box sprays in it, painted my nails and my toes, so y'all can see. Y'all can't see that, but y'all gonna see. And yes, I just want to look a little cute, to look cute, to look cute. But yeah, y'all, that is my experience with <laughs> possibly the last styles for a while that's brand new to my hair that I will ever go to because I'm tired of people not doing what I paid them for. So I just, that's that. But yeah, y'all, um, I'm gonna get out of here so I can go ahead and edit and then upload for Monday, you know, to tomorrow, okay? Um, thank y'all for um, watching till the very end. I know it was a lot. I talk a lot. I'm a chatty Kathy, so you're going to have to excuse me. Oh, and if you wonder wondering to know my outfit. So, I got these little things, these little comfortable things from Target for $7, might I add. I got this dress off of Amazon for, I think, 2 to $3 because, girl, it was cute. It's, it's giving, honey. It's giving. And then this was a hand-me-down from my bestie. She was trying to give her a bunch of clothes. And I was like, oh, this is cute. We can percolate it, okay? Mm, sell it. Get it. Okay, but yeah. So that's that's that. And then my hair is for me, honey. I did my own hair. Okay, you gotta, you gotta save some coins how you can sometimes. But don't worry, because I'm gonna be going back to my other stylist, you know, here in a couple of weeks. So yeah, she's gonna give me right tight, tight. But yeah, y'all, that is it. That is all I have for y'all today. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on J is the channel name. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.